Hello, beloveds. Grand rising to you, supreme rising to you. How are you guys doing this lovely evening? I'm doing pretty good myself. I can't complain. I won't complain. <laughs> I'm doing pretty good in spite of all that's taking place on the planet. Um, I get up in the morning, as I always say, and I count it all joy. And I just work hard if I have to to stay in that place. I do what I have to do, guys. So it's good to be with you guys again. I'm your girl, Layla Awake, and I am your Black Empowerment content creator for those who are new to my channel. And I'm so glad you're here, guys. I'm so glad you're here. I want to come on just for a few minutes. I want to talk about uh, the quickening. And, and before we get into it, though, guys, I want to ask you to please click like so that other people can get the video, can see the video, and share it so that more can get the video. And I appreciate you guys so much for that. So I want to jump right in. Won't be long. I will not be long, I promise. But I want to talk about the quickening. I'm hearing a lot of people right now talk about how fast time is speeding up. I hear it all the time. You know, one of my relatives mentioned it today. I just can't believe it seems like time is just going so fast. What is going on? She she said to me, what is going on? And so I keep hearing about it. So I said, you know, that I want to I want to go on and talk about it with with my uh, subscribers. I want to get it out there. Let's talk about the quickening. It, and that's what it is. It's it, it's the quickening. And um, time is really speeding up. And although we do know that time is not real, time is an illusion. But in this Babylon, Babylon system, time is definitely real in this system. And so people, people are paying attention, at least to a certain level. Many of us are really paying attention, but people are paying attention enough to realize that something is going on out here. You know, it, it's... They may not be able to understand what it is, some people, and some people do, but some they still know something is taking place on this planet, and people are feeling it because, you know, it, it, it's all vibrational, and so you, you're going to feel it, you know, even if you don't understand it, but time is just moving just quicker and quicker, and it's going to, my understanding, it's going to move even faster as time go on even faster. And so the quickening is a speeding up of vibration. You know, everything is energy, you know, energy, you know, is vibration. And so the frequency of the planet is rising. And so all of it, vibration, frequency, energy, and that all of it, it's all right the same, actually. It's, it's all energy. So the vibration is moving faster and faster and faster, and people are feeling it. We're all feeling it. There's a battle for our heart and our mind. The Babylon system is really fighting for our hearts and our minds and also our souls. It's a whole war. That's taking place. And it's been going on now for a while. This, this spiritual war. That's taking place. Because they know what's coming. They know their time is up. They know it. And so they're battling for, for our mind. Our soul and our hearts. Uh, people are waking up. They're seeking information. Um, connecting with each other. And like minds. You know. Our soul families are connecting. I, you know, I see it every day and that's a beautiful thing, but it's all happening right now in this quickening. And that's what the quickening is. It's the change on the planet. It's, it's like a whole, I see it as like a whirlwind that's spinning it's going to spin faster and faster and faster. And that, that's what's happening. And it's, uh, it's a whole a whole uh, planet metamorphosis. You know, there's so many descriptive words we can use to describe it. Um, 
we're realizing more and more that everything was a lie. Everything that Babylon told us, showed us, gave us was all a lie. And guys, if any of you are on social media right now, you got, we got some beautiful teachers out here. They are pumping us with, with real information, with facts and, and, all kinds of stuff to combat the lies that we were given originally. There is no excuse for any of us to be ignorant with all of the information that's out here right now, guys. And so we are waking up to the truth. It's, it's the age of Aquarius, as I always say, and all of the lies are being revealed. People are being, people that are not right in their hearts, and their behaviors are being exposed. It's all during the quickening. And, and it, you, you really can tell that time is just, it's like the day just going, it just goes by so quick. I mean, you wake up in the morning and before you know it, it's noon. You know, the quickening is real. Time is really moving. And like I say, it time is an illusion, but it, in, in Babylon, time is real. Um, chosen ones are waking up. Guys, I'm going to tell you something. And I didn't always know this, but I'm, I'm going to say it. And it's not, it's, 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 it's not, being chosen is not an egotistical name, a word, or, you know, it's not egotistical. It has nothing to do, being chosen is, it's, it's a real thing. There are so many of us out here that we've always known that we were different. We've always, and guess what, guys? The world made sure you knew you were different. The way they treated you, the way they treated us. We always knew we were different. And for a long time, I didn't understand it, you know, and been kind of confused and trying to, you know, figure it out. But everybody else around me, I say everybody, so many people around me always made sure that I knew that there was something about me that was unique. And I see that with different people now and more so now because the chosen are rising. The chosen ones are beginning to surface everywhere. And so many of our families have that one individual in the family, biological families, that's, that's just different. We don't, we don't dance to the music. We don't follow the crowd. We're not a sheep. You know, we think with our own mind. We don't stand in front of a man and let that man tell us how to think, how to move, you know, and we offer so much more to humanity, you know, in that chosen status. And, and, and we, we were, we were uh, selected. You know, many are called, but a few are chosen. That's 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 not something that we didn't just create that. That it's it's real, and we were, are given these assignments because of you know what we, what is needed on this planet, and so more and more chosen are rising up now, and you know, and and doing what we were created to do, walking in our purpose during the the quickening. Um, during this time, we have to change the way we feel about one another. We've got to go to a heart, to our in, go into our hearts, clean out our hearts, and start operating from our hearts, our heart chakra. Because ultimately, we're going to have to be in a place of love. That's, that's just where we're going to have to be, guys. We're going to have to work from a place of love. So we're going to have to start changing the way we feel about each other. And I know they taught us to hate each other and be against each other and fight each other and all that stuff. That's going to have to change. And, and, and Mother Gaia is here in the universe. They're working together to create a climate, to create the right frequency so that it'll be easier for us to change that about ourselves. Because it has to happen. I see so much ego, guys. I see it all the time, even with beautiful people, beautiful people, people who have the best intentions, but ego seems like it just always rise up in there. And as hard as we try, but 
Mother Gaia is working with us. The universe is working with us. The Most High to help us go back to our original selves and begin to really look at each other the way we should and start working together with each other, feeling good about each other and positive and just loving and kind, being loving and kind to one another. We've got to change the way we think. It has been an attack on our minds, guys, a whole attack on our minds. Overthinking is so prevalent on this planet because of what Babylon did to us. The things that Babylon did to us has caused us to, it has interrupted our nervous system and caused us to operate in a way that makes people overthink. You know, that stuff gets stuck in our subconscious and, and, and it's sometimes it's just hard to, to get it out. And so there's a lot of repairing going on right now in our bodies and in our mind. And it is much needed so that we can return to our original selves. So the quickening is real, guys. It is, it, it is a speeding up of, of frequency, a speeding up of vibration. So everything, you know, is vibration. Everything, everything. You know, everything is energy. Everything is energy. And so if you are noticing that things, time is moving very fast, that's because it is. That is that is not an illusion in a sense. It is really, things are really speeding up. And that is a part of what the quickening is. The quickening is the whole process, you know, combined with the the speeding up of time and it's going to speed up like I said earlier it's going to speed up more and more and more and as as these changes these things begin to you know senses begin to heighten and more and more changes come across the planet we are in some amazing times the thing about it is though we've got to prepare for it we have to prepare for these times and there's something we need to be doing every day. And so get with your, you know, reach out to your spirit guides and talk with your ancestors. Go to your altars, guys, and so that you'll know how you need to, how you need to move. You, you'll get, if you are awakened and you are getting, you will get the, the uploads. And uh, your spirit guides will help you to, uh, to get the information and guide you into doing what you need to do to deal with this quickening stage that we're in. And so I just wanted to come on and go over that with you because I keep hearing people talk about time just seem to be speeding up so fast. And guys, it is speeding up. I feel it every day. I see it. I get up in the morning and by the time I get to it, I have a list of things and I may get to the second Thing, and it's already after 12 o'clock and it is because we are dead set in the quickening and the Mayans spoke about this the Mayans, the Sumerians uh, the Hopis they talked about the quickening it is not anything new, it may be new to us because of the, all the information that they hid, but it's not a, it is not a new information it's always been available and we are experiencing it right now. So time is moving. You know, and like I said, and although it's an illusion, time is an illusion, we are operating on in Babylon's world. We've been operating. And so that's why we can, that's why, you know, time is real because of, you know, the frequency that we've been under. And now with the vibration moving faster, we, we're seeing it in real time. So, guys, we just got to stay equipped, you know, uh, get the information that we need and uh, meditate and stay in a good, peaceful place so that we can be healthy, might be health, healthy in our minds and make sure we're doing the things we need to do to be healthy in our bodies, eating the way we need to eat. And we're going to be okay. We're going to be okay, guys, without a doubt. We just need to do some things 
and we need to be consistent. That's all. So I just wanted to come on and, and talk about that for a little bit, like I said, because it's a, a, a heavy topic right now and people are talking about time. And so I wanted to come on and just kind of give you a little brief synopsis of what the quickening is because we're, we're in the middle of it. So I just thank you for finding the time, making the time, because you could have been doing anything else, but you're right here with me uh, getting this, this information from this video. So I appreciate you for that. I'm going to ask you again to like the video because when you like it, others can see it, share it so that more people can see it. And I appreciate you so much, guys. You are, you are my faithful. So many of you are so faithful. And I want you guys to know I see you. I see you. I think it's is it Jay Cash, one of my, one of my ride or dies. I see you, brother. I do. And I appreciate you so much. All of your interaction with me and you come on and you just, you make me feel so good about what I do because you're always there. You, 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 you comment and we can converse and I just, I love it. I love it when my when my subscribers talk to me, I appreciate you so much. Without you, I couldn't do what I do. So thank you again very much. I'm going to sign out. I'm going to say assalamu alaikum to you. Shalom. Namaste. Ashe, ashe, ashe. Guys, keep your head up. Hug somebody and get your son. Get your son, guys. You need that vitamin D, especially trying to stay healthy and fight all that we're fighting right now. So get you some sun, guys. And again, I appreciate you so much. Going to say peace. Peace be unto you. And until next time, guys, I'm going to sign out by saying take care and bye-bye. <laughs> Love you.